In this workflow, I'm going to show you how to export your Revit data for use in 3ds Max design to do visualization. So to start with, what I have here is a basic bathroom design. What I'm using is just some simple walls and some components from Coroma. They're geared up with some basic material settings and uh, I set up some views here inside the model. So nothing uh, too complex here. One thing to note, in my design, because this is a conceptual design, I've just used divided parts to actually break up a thin wall here. So instead of building all the joinery, I'm uh, using a very quick workflow to create the illusion that these are covered spaces. I've also done this with the tiles as well. Instead of using textures, I'm gonna actually use solid geometry. So this is all divided parts. So with that, uh, I want to link this into a 3ds Max design workflow. So what I'm going to do is go to my Revit icon drop down, go to Sweet Workflows and choose one of these items from the workflow manager. Now uh, when you do this you can actually customize your own type of export. For the sake of this workflow, I want to do a 3ds Max design interior rendering. And I'll just click on that. And you'll see here there's a, a few settings. And this will take you through the uh, file linking. So it will ask for the target scene. Uh, you can actually choose an existing link. Uh, I'll do one from scratch to, to show how it works. What it's also going to do is once you load it into 3ds Max, you can start to use Max materials and settings for your particular rendering setup. Uh, you can keep those Max scene material definitions, so if you're using tools like V-Ray or Max-Ray or Corona rendering engines, you may want to retain those as opposed to using the Revit uh, mental ray materials. Then finally, what we have here going through are uh, your lighting. So there will be the, the data from the artificial lights, like the IES data. Your daylight system. So you can see here I've got my daylight system set up to illuminate the space at a certain time of day. The camera. Now what's important here is the view that you choose to export from will be the one that you need to maintain during your link to 3ds Max. Always keep this uh, as the same view. This will be the one that's remem remembered. And then uh, you can have a, uh, a helper at the model origin. I just leave that one off. And then you can auto smooth adjacent uh, faces. And then finally for combined entities, this is uh, very helpful when, for when you need to actually manage the data inside of 3ds Max. You can do it as one or Revit category or Revit material. Uh, by default, Revit family type works pretty well, so I'm going to uh, keep it on that. Uh, so uh, if you do want to modify it and uh, do something else, so if you want to customize your own one, uh, so it does certain things every single time, you can uh, create your own one like I did in the um, export settings. So we'll just run that. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a little splash screen. I do actually have a Max scene open at the moment. I'm going to start a brand new one just to, to show you. Uh, you can choose a new Max scene, an existing Max scene, or an active 3ds Max session. If I do choose that, that's the one that I've got active. I don't want to go into that right now. I just want to show this from scratch. I'm just going to do the new Max scene. And then uh, there's a few tools here for existing links. Uh, you can update, remove and replace, or keep and append to. We just want to use uh, updated. What it does is it creates a default FBX file in your C drive and your users. And we'll just go continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to start up a new session of 3ds Max for me. So I don't need to do anything. I don't even need to fire up the program. It's saving that uh, FBX to a default location on your C drive. Um, it's usually like in your temp folder. So if you ever lose the path, you can find it. I'll just uh, show you the other Mac scene I've got open here. Um, this is the, the file path here that um, is the default uh, FBX. And uh, when you need to reload the data into an existing file, it will give you a little flag here to show that you need to, to reload it. 
Uh, what's important here is that um, it is view dependent, so it is 3D view 1, so just make sure that um, you don't change the views. And then there's a few uh, name presets, and you can actually modify and, and adjust these uh, should you want to inside of, of Max, as I've done here with um, some of my other type of imports. So uh, with that now done, this has opened up the default 3ds Max scene, and this is how it comes in from scratch. So if I just go to the uh, the view here, we have our mental ray, sun and sky. It is derived from a date, time and location that has read that information uh, from Revit. So uh, the hours and the months are actually uh, set up there. And then if we go down to uh, so F3 for wireframe, and you see here is my camera. That's the 3D uh, view one that's come from Revit. If I hit C, that will take me into the view. F3 to show the uh, solar materials. And what Max is doing now, it's set to a realistic setting here. It's starting to calc the light in the space. So to see this in real time, you can start to choose lighting and shadows, illuminate with scene lights, and you can uh, turn on realistic materials with maps or shaded materials with maps. And you can see here it's starting to bounce the light around once it actually does that. Um, for a better look at a real-time feedback on this. Uh, you can see my exposure control is set to uh, 15. We'll go more into this later. Uh, I'm just going to use one of the default ones, uh, indoor daylight, and when I do that the exposure value goes to 10 and you can see there's more light pushing into the space. So a good number here, if you want to do it manually, might be about 8. And we'll just let that think. And now we can start to see the light calculating in the space. So that's the first part of this uh, series of tutorials. How to link your model from Revit into 3ds Max and how to look at that information, that data that comes across from that FBX file.